My name is Keenan Campa. I am 24 years old. I'm from Washington, D.C., in the United States. Um, and I'm currently a professional ballerina in Russia. She's like, I hate you. You're really <laughs> I've always been interested and felt a special connection with um, people with special needs, specifically children with special needs and Down syndrome being one of them, that I don't know what it is about them, but there's such an attraction, um, I think because of the fact that they're just little angels. When I was working in Boston, I got involved with a program there. It taught the kids ballet and just different types of dance. And being there and watching those children's progress and how they went from, you know, having difficulty just walking to all of a sudden break dancing like Michael Jackson was incredible. And so, and as a dancer, it was so inspiring to all of a sudden see my art, which can sometimes, you know, you get so caught up in it and the world the ballet world and all of the people who can be very negative and to kind of see those children looking at ballet and experiencing ballet in different ways it it showed me a beautiful side to my art and made me fall more in love with it just from watching them so um, when I would go into those classes and work with those kids that became my favorite hour of the week and when I left Boston after two years of working there, that was one of the saddest things, was having to leave those children. And um, the moment I got to Russia, I started trying to find a, a place that had a similar program, but there really isn't anything. I've been missing it, and I've wanted to start something on my own. So that's, that's where I am right now. I'm still at that, trying to start something. I love it. Um, I started ballet at a really young age. I was about four when I did my first class. And up until high school, ballet was just something I loved to do. And once I hit 14, I had to make the decision that I was going to pursue it more intensely. And so ballet has taught me a lot. Just it's, it's helped shape me as a person and to kind of take responsibility for things, not just my dancing, but everything in life. And that, to realize that you're not going to get anywhere without hard work and integrity. In this consultation, we welcome the families for uh, three, four hours mm -hmm. to have all the expertise they need for, for their children. All the pathology uh, Down syndrome people can have are cured in this, uh, in, in, this, in this place. So this is my first time in Paris and it's been a, it's been a really great day so far. Um, I got to the foundation around 10 and then we kind of took a tour around the foundation and the institute and then um, I got to sit in on a consultation which was, that was pretty neat to see and met a little girl and her mother who were there. Oh, the, the duck found her mother. Wow. Yeah, that's what she's like. Oh. She cooked me some fake food in a little plastic bowl, even though she didn't speak English and I didn't speak French. I don't know, to still kind of feel a connection with her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, I have to go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Au revoir. Bye. So nice to meet you. <laughs> I know, isn't Down syndrome like the least funded um, genetic condition? And I think that is just because 
people don't know or what they do know is false and they haven't really been educated and, and shown the truth about what Trisomy 21 is. I, got, I have an injury. I'm getting ready to have hip surgery and this is the first time in my life I've actually had time. Mm -hmm. Because um, I'm always so busy with ballet and since I got home like the day after I got home I said okay I have this time right now let me try and do something mm -hmm. and so I started doing a lot of just research on my own about Down syndrome and of course Jerome Lejeune was one of the first things yeah and so then I started reading about his work and his research and the more I read the more passionate I was about the fact that I mean, even what we were talking about today, that it's even scientifically, yeah. like, yeah. it's not just something that deals with faith, it's, it is what it is. I'm just in awe of his work and his legacy and everything that he stands for. I mean, it's such an honor to meet you today, just because <laughs> of, like... Oh, look at you. Oh, wow. It's been pretty fascinating. We just went upstairs and saw the archives and, um, and all the photos. And she's been telling us stories about Mr. Lejeune and also Pope John Paul II and, and just how they met and was just so intrigued by everything about him. And that's why I can't be, couldn't be more thrilled to be here and to be, you know, in his house and meeting his wife and his children. It's just, I think he's a very special man. You know, I think in our world today, there's this unfair image of children with Down syndrome as being, I, I don't even, I don't know, just being different than any other human being. And I think people are just so quick to judge after taking one look at a person instead of actually seeing what's inside and seeing that those children with Down syndrome are probably 10 times the person than the average person just based off of their character. I think that I learn more from being around people with Down syndrome than I'll ever be able to teach them. They are paradigms of goodness because they just exude happiness and purity and just honesty because they are who they are and and that's it it's, they're just simple and so that's why when I did work with the kids who were dancing I felt like I came out of that class energized and ready to take on the world just from being around them um, and I think there's a lot that you can learn from them and people don't realize that Est-ce qu'une fille trisomie peut danser comme fou? I think sometimes even better because sometimes they're very flexible and have really good rhythm. Yeah, just about working hard. Uh, pourquoi voulez-vous être la marraine de la fondation? Um, oh, because I love being with all of them and they bring a lot of joy to my life and without it I feel a little empty and I want to be a part of their lives. So. In terms of what I can do for the foundation, I know that still has to be decided and there's lots of different areas. Um, I could try and go with it to see how I could be of assistance. Um, but also I think just bringing an awareness to people. Um, it's not necessarily political or religious, it's scientific and you know, there are, these are children we're dealing with and they deserve the respect and love 
just like any other child. So I, I don't see how that could be controversial. And I think that it's important to stick up for them and to be a voice when they can't themselves.